This is Una, and in this video, I'll build a shade structure for her. This hyperbolic shade canopy will also keep her spot clear of snow in the winter. I'll just need a few quick dimensions to get started. You are familiar with a hyperbolic paraboloid if you've ever eaten any Pringles potato chips. The double curb shape turns out to be a durable solution for the fragile snack. My canopy will be under tension and supported along the edges in order to produce the shape. The structure is a simple tube steel frame. All of the complicated joints will happen at the corners where the three tubes come together. might be another way to do this, but I solved the joints in a 3D model and printed wraparound patterns to get the geometry perfect. Even though it looks like it should be a bunch of 45 degree cuts, it is much more complicated to make sure everything meets up. Once all the pieces were cut, I needed to clean up the joints because I wanted to use this as an excuse to get better at TIG welding. These are the last parts I would make on the ShopBot before it left with its owner. Luckily, I still have the platform CNC, you can see it in the background, and I hope to find a new space for it soon. These plywood jigs will make getting the angles easy and more repeatable. I will tack everything together in the jig so that I know that it will stay in the correct shape. Even though these are some of my first TIG welds, I've gotten a lot of practice since. For learning a new skill, nothing beats having access to equipment and spending some time with it. Lucky for me, I intended to make everything smooth. In this case, TIG welding saved me a lot of grinding. After the corners were all set, I needed to add inserts. These would simply slip halfway in and get plug welded. Measuring from both sides gives you a truer center.
These could have been through bolts, but the plug welding is cleaner and there's no need to keep track of any parts. I opened up the holes a bit to improve the weld penetration. I will only be building one shade structure but it gets really interesting when you gang up a few of them. I'll just grind these flush and then make some quick feet. Now that everything is complete, I can prep for paint. One last check to make sure everything fits like it should. I am using industrial enamel paint. This stuff is great and reminds me of sign paint and it smells terrible. After a couple coats, I would slip everything together and cover the seams with indoor-outdoor electrical tape. I was considering painting something on the canvas one, but I decided to go with the solar cloth for now. I'll start with the corners and then adjust the sides. The surface gets tighter and tighter and more of a pure shape with every tie down. The shade is fairly dynamic in person. I think it would be really great gang together in series. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.